you know, I gave them um, a name of a few of the trucks we have. Like mm -hmm. I said, that's more of a, of a tougher customer. You know, like I said, you're not going to pick up the phone and every person that picks up, they're going to come in for an appointment. Yeah. So you need to get that idea out of your head and just come to terms that I'm going to pick up the phone today and someone's going to tell me no. It's going to happen. All straight right? up no from like... A straight up a firm no today. It's going to happen guaranteed. Oh, all yeah. right? So you, as long as you're expecting it every morning before you used to get on the phones, you give you that, give yourself the opportunity to be prepared how to handle that when somebody tells you no. So how do you do that is when you first pick up the phone, Tyler, and someone says, not interested, I understand you're not interested, I don't know you, you don't know me, we just kind of started this conversation, I may have something that will be able to possibly benefit you, can we just take two minutes to find out and then go our separate ways, is that fair enough? All right, so that's how you can get somebody on the same playing field to allow you to go further in the phone call. All right, so has anyone gotten that yet? You first pick up the phone, you're reading off the script, and they tell you, I'm not interested before you even go into like a buyback or anything like that. A couple of times. Yeah. A couple of times? Yeah, okay, yeah. so have we tried to come up with anything to say, or, or what are we doing when that happens? Pretty much what you said, but I'd want to word it like that or maybe different, because I like to change it up every now okay. and because I know everyone's different. All right, so first objection up front, you know, not interested. Did everyone see that? So this is when you first pick up the phone. Person tells you, I understand. I understand. I don't know you. You don't know me. I may have something that really could benefit you. Could we just take two minutes to see if it might be something that would work? Then go our separate ways. Fair enough. But you got to be able to say this. Right when they give you that objection, you can't be going, uh, well, can I ask you some questions? That's the worst thing you can say, all right? They have not given you permission, and I hear reps do this all the time. Can I just ask you some questions? You haven't acknowledged that the person has told you not interested. When you can acknowledge it and then give them a rebuttal and then go back and go for the qualifying statement, that's how you overcome that stuff, all right? But this is, I'm talking about in the beginning, okay? This is before, you know, they, they heard that, you know, you're from wherever and you just got on the phone with them and they, they don't want to hear anything. 